In this Bluehost tutorial, I'm going to show you how to buy a domain on Bluehost, how to create an email address for that domain, and how to create a subdomain for that domain inside of Bluehost. So let's get into it. Welcome back. So we are on the Bluehost website. You can find the link to the website in the description box. What we're going to do is we're going to click on get started and try to find whether our domain name is available or not. First, we have to choose our plan. You can go through all of these uh, different things for each of the plans. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the basic plan. So I'm going to hit on select and I'm going to type my domain name here and see if it is available. You get a pop up here. Maybe you can use it if you're ready with your domain, maybe not. So I'm just going to close this and choose my domain and click on next. And it says my domain is available. Awesome. So I'm going to fill all of these details and I'm going to choose the 12 month price at $595 per month and I'm going to go ahead and choose domain privacy protection. I don't, um, I can choose this. I don't need this. I don't need SEO. I don't need, uh, okay, this is free. So I'll go ahead and add it and then I'll add my car details here click on the agreement and hit submit. And that's how you can buy your domain. And then once you have made the payment, you'll be shown a page where you have to create your password. So make sure you create your password on that page. Do not exit without creating your password. Now, once that's done, you will get inside your Bluehost portal. So I've I have opened up my Bluehost portal inside my domain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of email and office. So click on there and you are going to create your email address. So this is the basic, the free plan that I selected. So I'm going to click on manage. And then it'll take me to uh, the email account page. I already have three email addresses that I'm using or two email addresses. So I'm just going to hit on create and I can just uh, create an email address. You can select whatever you want. You can create a password for it. And then you can choose the storage space. Of course, if you choose unlimited, you'll have to upgrade. So I'm just going to keep it at, I'm actually going to reduce it to 100 because I'm already using two email addresses. And then I'm going to hit on create. Awesome. So I have successfully created this email address. Now, if you want to manage or check your email, you can just use these buttons and check your emails. You can also connect your email to uh, your Gmail and uh, use your email in that way. So this is what you need to do and this is all you need to do to create your email address inside of Bluehost. The next thing that we're going to do is create our subdomain. So sometimes you're using a landing page or sales funnels or sales funnels builder like click funnels or lead pages where you want to use your subdomain from your website as a URL for your landing page, right? So you want it to show as uh, maybe content.shwetadhour.com so that it, it looks more genuine rather than shwetadhour.clickfunnels.com, right? So your domain definitely looks more genuine if you're using a subdomain. So what I'm going to do here is I clicked on domains under my domains. It'll give you a list of your domains. And then I'm going to click on these three dots and click on DNS zone editor. So once you click on that, it'll give you a list of the C name records. So we are creating a C name record to point to our ClickFunnels page. So here, the host name is basically what you want as the subdomain. For example, my website is marketingautomation.com. So if I, I'm creating a funnel around, uh, let's say, 
fun, let's say, uh, content. So my dom subdomain would be content and then my URL would be content.marketingautomation.com. So I'm going to say content here and then under then type, you need to select C name and then points to so if you're using ClickFunnels, it will be target.clickfunnels.com. If you're using something like lead pages, you can go inside of lead pages and under domains, they'll tell you exactly what your uh, DNS record should point to and you'll put, put that here. Whatever software you're using for your funnels uh, or to create a subdomain, you can just go inside that software. So lead pages, ClickFunnels, uh, Kartra, Kajabi, whatever you're using, and they'll tell you exactly what to point to under the DNS record and all you have to do is click on add record so you can see down here I have three uh, records that are pointing to click funnels right so basically these are bots.chwetadower.com content.chwetadower.com and all, all of that right so you can create that C name record here and again then connect it to your uh, software from their platform so you have to just go inside that platform go under domains and type the subdomain that you've created uh, content.marketingautomation.com and then you just have to connect it right because you just have to click on you know that you've created the domain because you've already connected it right inside of bluehost so this is how you can create your subdomain Bluehost works great. It I would say it is the best platform out there. But if you're just getting started, Bluehost is great because it's cheap, it's easy to use, and it also lets you create the emails and subdomains. So it's pretty much gives you all the options, right? So I hope this Bluehost tutorial helped you. And if you like my content, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.